Gaslighting, Estrangement, and Surrender, My Sunday Story. This story is written for the tens of thousands of good mothers, grandmothers, grandchildren, and all the other women who have been gaslighted by another person. The act of gaslighting is defined by the American Psychological Association as follows to manipulate another person into doubting their perceptions, experiences, or understanding of events. It can induce mental illness. I want to write about estrangement through the lens of gaslighting because there are tens of thousands of strong mothers and grandmothers and their grandchildren who are being gaslighted as well as other women experiencing other circumstances. Last week, as I was sitting in my hairdresser, Colette's chair, I told her a personal story. We have been together a long time, and she is my therapeutic shrink in disguise. After I explained my dilemma, she looked at me and said, you have been gaslighted big time. And now I want to bring you to a very positive word, surrender. Surrender is not only positive, it is powerful. For the last seven years, I have suffered every day, no matter what joys I've had in my life. That is until last week when I learned the power of surrender. About a week ago, a woman, a friend of mine, told me a story. It had nothing to do with estrangement. She used the word surrender. She told me she surrendered to her situation, meaning she dropped her end of the rope. Sweet mothers, grandmothers, and other women in toxic relationships surrender in order to bloom. Stop resisting what you cannot win and surrender. You will be giving yourself the opportunity to move on, replacing your negative situation with something new and positive that will bring joy. Read more on gaslighting, estrangement, and surrender on my Sunday story. Bye for now. It's Honey.